if you're not a party person and are looking for quiet and a peaceful time in a place like Goa, then this is where you should be. Welcome to Diwar Island in this episode. If you're traveling to Diwar Island, then there is no other way except you have to come in a ferry. And if you have a car, then you can load your car on the ferry for 10 rupees. And uh, the river Mandovi surrounds this island. And that is the reason the island is really peaceful. So we are checking in this beautiful 150 years old Portuguese house, which is pet friendly and it's like a boutique hotel. Uh, the front side of the house is designed in a Kerala style, but most of the Portuguese heritage has been maintained. Let's go take a look inside. So the house has a living room area and uh, you can play board games or read books. And then you have a, a balcony on the first floor where you can chill and relax. All the rooms are non-smoking rooms, so there is a designated smoking area. And then you have the pool to beat the heat. So I'm on my balcony with my pet Simba and he's really been having a fun time running on the lawns and uh, it's amazing for him to get this huge area to run around. But about the rooms, the rooms are uh, very cozy, very well maintained. Uh, they're all uh, air conditioned, pet friendly and neat and clean as you can see in these visuals. Now we are going to eat some lunch at a place called Rockin Cafe. As the place we are staying in offers complimentary breakfast but not other meals. And uh, the place that was recommended to me by the manager of this place is called Rockin Cafe. So we are going to go there and I'm going to try a fish thali. So I'm walking in and I see on a Sunday afternoon, a sunny day, it's quite packed. So let's go find a table and get the thali. So guys, that was uh, one of the best fish thalis that I've had because I'll tell you what, that fish in Rockin Bar was absolutely fresh. And what we also realized, the reason why it's called Rockin Restaurant and Bar is because it's actually made on a sea rock. And I'll show you visuals of this and that's really interesting uh, part about this restaurant. But now we are going to go home for a siesta because it's really hot. But if you are in Diwar Island, then you should also go to the Saptokeshwa temple, which is an ancient Shiva temple. I've already made a blog on the Saptokeshwa temple. The link for that uh, you can see on the description and click on that. Uh, for now, I'll go take a little bit of a break. In the evening, we are going to see the Diwar church and see the sunset on top of the Mandovi River. It's evening time now in Diwar Island and a good time to come and explore this 400 year old St. Matthias Church. Unfortunately, the church is closed, but this church is known for its artistic wall graves because in those days, there was a lack of space. Hence, the graves were made on walls. This is something that you will see in a lot of other churches in Diwar Island. So let's go inside and check it out. So 
that was something I've never seen uh, graves in a wall. So that was my first time. Next, we are going to a church named the Lady of Piety, which is an 18th century church uh, boasting of New Age Roman architecture and Borik. at the Lady of Piety Church, which is an 18th century church. And as you can see behind me, there are wall graves. Something I told you is very common in most churches in Diwar Island, because those days they had a problem with space. It's been a very hot day, but finally it's getting a bit cooler now as we go closer to the sunset. I'm standing right next to the wall graves. And as you can see behind me are the ruins of an ancient Ganesh temple, as a lot of these temples were destroyed by the Portuguese and the churches were built. We tried looking for the promenade, which was right opposite to the church. From where it's set, you can see the sunset going over the Mandovi River. Unfortunately, the monsoons have just ended in Goa and there's tall trees blocking the view. So that isn't possible. So we've come to the Diwar Ferry Point from where we are going to enjoy our sunset and see you next week where I will take you to some more travel destination, some more travel stories and hope we continue with your support.